Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we just got some absolutely crazy news from the CW that Batwoman is officially cancelled. So, we're going to be going into this and breaking everything down. What does it mean for the future of the Arrowverse and everything like that. So for now, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so it was just announced that Batwoman Season 3 is not going to be happening. It's been officially cancelled, and yes, cancelled is the right word in this case. So, showrunner Caroline Dries, I think she was the one who initially broke the news, and then different outlets picked up on it, like about an hour ago or so when she posted it. So basically, what happened was this. She said this in a tweet. Just got the sad news that Batwoman will not be seeing a season 4. I am bummed, but full of gratitude. What an honor to make 51 episodes. So many inspiring, brilliant people contributed to this series. Thank you, producers, cast, and crew. Thank you, fans. We love you. And that is the official news. And so, this comes after Batwoman Season 3 got a very positive response compared to past seasons of Batwoman. So, I definitely think it comes as a little bit of a shock, however, as you guys all know, Batwoman behind the scenes has been a lot of stuff that went on, even very publicly, with Ruby Rose coming out with those comments just a while ago, and so I don't know if that had anything to do with this, however, it's in the back of people's minds, and maybe... You know, the people making the decisions behind the scenes were thinking about that a little bit. But I really do think the main reason is about ratings and the fact that maybe the CW thought, oh, maybe it's not worth it to put all this money into this when we can put it into a new show like Gotham Knights, which they are currently shooting right now. They've been shooting it for like maybe a week or so. And we know that a lot of the people that worked in Batwoman, including some of the writers, are actually working on that new show. And so... It comes as not much of a surprise, but also a big surprise at the same time, because you do have a show like Gotham Knights coming, and I'm pretty sure that's going to get picked up to series, so they can continue the world of Batwoman. However, at the same time, Batwoman was beloved by a lot of people, and yes, it had its kind of haters, but I didn't expect it to get cancelled, if I'm completely honest. I really thought the CW would stick it out, give it at least to season 4, and then officially end the show on their own time. However, the CW has cut them short. And now this is huge for the Arrowverse because this has actually never happened before. No Arrowverse show on the CW has ever been cancelled. I mean, if you look at any recent example, it would be Constantine, but that wasn't the CW, that was NBC, even though technically it's set in the Arrowverse. Well, it kind of was after the show ended. So that was the most recent example, but nothing really like this has ever happened to the Arrowverse because if you look at Arrow, Supergirl, and Black Lightning, the shows that have gone away, they actually ended because the cast and, you know, the people behind the scenes were like, okay, we agree, maybe let's end it here because the time has come. But in this case, this is not happening. Batwoman has been cancelled. That means that season 3 is the final season, we're getting no season 4, no new episodes of Batwoman ever again. And so this is a huge moment, like I mentioned, for the Arrowverse, because what does it mean for the future of shows like Legends of Tomorrow, Naomi? It spells very bad news for those shows if the CW is willing to cut and axe something like Batwoman, because I feel like Batwoman has a lot more say than a show like Naomi. Yes, Naomi is only on its first season, however, it looks a bit scary if I'm completely honest to those shows. So, any new show that doesn't perform well, because we know that Batwoman wasn't performing as good as some of the other Arrowverse shows, I mean, if you look at any new show, you got to compare it to something like Superman Lois, because that is just doing gangbusters right now. It's doing so good for the CW that they've already renewed it for a new season, and I'm sure we're going to get many, many more seasons. And so, if the show doesn't do good and reception isn't that good, I guess shows do have to be worried, and that wasn't a thing that normally happened in the Arrowverse, because every show got given its own chance, and at least it got to go to season 3, 
However, I feel like they should have at least given it one more season and, you know, at least half a season to end it on their own terms because they haven't been able to do an ending. They've ended it on how they ended season three. They've made 51 episodes and you're going to see nothing else past that. So no proper goodbye for the show. So that's going to be very upsetting for fans of Batwoman. And so, yeah, what do you guys think about this? Because I really can't believe this actually happens and this is obviously coming after the release of Batwoman Season 3 and after the announcement that the CW is potentially being sold and this sale could be a potential reason for why the show is ending after Season 3. Maybe they just didn't see it as a viable kind of business interest for them and in that case they didn't want to you know kind of diminish anything on the CW in terms of their money so I think more so than like a creative decision it's more of a business decision to end the show which is a sad thing but that is the reality in a lot of TV shows that do end up getting cancelled but I wanted to read out Javisa Leslie's statement she posted this on Instagram just recently she said the most high never ceases to amaze me I was taught that words have power and we speak our life into existence while well, I spoke this role into my life and what an honour it has been to play it out exactly how it was meant to. Family, this bat team is ours, history has been made and it can never be taken. Going to set with such an amazing cast and crew makes work feel like play every day. Thank you to our entire production team in Vancouver, our LA peeps that keep the stories coming, our big wigs that believed that we could really do this, and our amazing cast that give their hearts on screen every episode. And to the fans, wow, I'm tearing up thinking about all of your messages, tweets, DMs, and letters. You all reminded me why I what I do is so important. Viola Davis recently said in an interview when asked about why representation matters, she said, because you need to see a physical manifestation of your dream. There is something about seeing someone who looks like you that makes it more tangible. And then she goes on to say, cheers to what's next. So a very, very nice and heartwarming statement from Jaffesia reaching out to the fans and thanking everyone for watching the show and obviously the cast and crew and everyone that worked on the show and it seems like everyone is a little bit bummed but they're going out on a good note because they had a good time and yes you know all the haters of the show for a long time even though I wasn't like huge on the show and I haven't really stayed up to date I'm still sad to hear this because I am an Arrowverse fan and I don't want any of our shows to get cancelled so it is a sad day but as I said some of the people online that were extremely toxic towards Batwoman and you know the casting and just the show as on the whole are probably gonna have a good day with this and I feel like that's a shame and I feel like they should have definitely been able to end on their own terms and so I'm a little bit sad about that because I feel like it's cutting the show off it's cutting you know the people behind the scenes who were so passionate about it in half suddenly out of nowhere being like okay yeah, you may have prepared for a season 4, but we're not going to give you that season 4 because we don't believe that this is viable for another season. And yeah, it's just really hard to fathom, but this is a big stepping stone for the Arrowverse because like I mentioned, it does put everything up in the air in regards to our future shows. Like, is Stargirl going to go beyond season 3? Is it going to end with season 3 and not get season 4? That is all the big questions out there and also it seems like things are getting harsher so is a show like you know Gotham Knights or the Justice You show are they only going to last a couple of seasons are they not going to get picked up that is a big possibility like you recently saw shows like Wonder Girl and Painkiller and Green Arrow and the Canaries none of them got picked up like that's very harsh you would expect them to at least go for one show they went for Superman Lois in the end and they went for Naomi which is great however we need to now put into question the future of the Arrowverse as a whole considering this huge huge step and I really can't emphasize that enough because we never seen this happen and hopefully we never see it happen again in the Arrowverse and on the CW but yeah, that's about it for today's video. This is a news video just going over this big update in the Arrowverse. 
and I really can't believe what just happened and what was released. So tell me your reactions, your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below because I really want to have a conversation and talk about it with you guys. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really does help out the channel and get this video out there and recommended to people. Also, share it around if you can on social media and to your friends if they're interested and they haven't heard the news send this video so this is their first source of information also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my flash review from this week's episode that i released just yesterday but for now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.